Hey what's up guys this is Balu from Balu Prime and welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to learn how we can do this epic spin transition effect in Adobe After Effects. This is a basic tutorial and it is easy to learn and can be done in a couple of minutes. I hope you will find this tutorial useful. If you have learned anything new from this tutorial please give it a thumbs up. Do provide your valuable feedback and comments. If you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel and support me. So further without wasting any time let's start. Let's open After Effects and import our images by right click on the project panel go to import and file or else you can simply direct, directly drag and drop your images onto the project panel. And before to that let us create a new composition click on the composition here go to new composition and I am leaving with the default settings of 1280 and 720 with a frame rate of 24 and a duration of 3 seconds click on ok now let us drag our image onto the timeline simply drop it onto the timeline you can see it is it oversized to scale it down press S on the keyboard or you can go here click on transform and S or simply shortcut S now scale it down I think it's enough yes and I want this for a duration of one and a half second so I am trimming it till here trimming it down to till here Done. now let us import our second image simply drag and drop it onto the timeline and trim it from here yes it will be oversized here yeah, this is all to oversized and we need to scale it down press s on the keyboard and scale it down now these are the two images which i have imported on our timeline so now let us go to effects and presets panel and look for motion type and mode yeah. apply this effect on both the layers i'm applying this effect on first layer and change the output width to 200 say 400 and out put with height to 400 what it does okay. by applying this motion tile you will get this kind of effect now apply the same onto the second layer and change the output with value to 400 and output height value to 400 now let us add transition or rotation effect so for this select the first layer press R for rotation or you can directly go here click on transform and here rotation or simply click R and you will find a stopwatch kind symbol here just click on that it will be enabled move few frames forward till here and I'm changing this to 20 degrees and come to the last frame and change it to 290 degrees now select the second layer and do the same in reverse value means click on R enable this stopwatch or keyframe here we need to give minus 290 value and after second Stop, stop, stop. Ooh. Ooh. Stop, stop, stop. 